Hello YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I am doing in my room today, I want to share with you on how I hung my Pittsburgh Jigsaw puzzle frame and everything on the outside wall by using different types of actual hooks. Now, how did I get all hung, if you're wondering? I don't know if you can notice, she's a little bit cockeyed, but not much. This side here is a little bit higher than that side over there. Now, the one thing I originally had on this side of my wall before was my 9-11 jigsaw puzzle. You can see I actually have two. I have this one, and I have my first one. But this one here, because it's plus size, it's big old, it's wide old this way, lengthwise, because of how much wall you're going to need to hang a picture frame this size. Now this is the largest picture frame I own in my room right now. Now one thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to actually take my photo frame off the wall and you can actually see the actual hooks on either side of my picture frame and how did I get it up there. And yes, I got one with a drywall on that side and one with a stud on this side. And I hung this last night, and it was a very easy process to do, but it also can be very frustrating as well if you don't have it perfectly level and trying to figure out which way it actually goes. Now, I'm going to turn myself this way. I'm going to lift off the D-hook uh, rings on the hooks so I don't accidentally damage my frame and also break the heavy glass on the thing itself. I'm going to pick up a little go. And here are some of the mistakes I kind of made when I hung my uh, photo frame. You can see I made a mistake here and I made a mistake though. That one there was up high. This one is down very low, and you can see here's these actual very nice hooks I bought down at Kmart a couple of weeks ago, and the actual work uh, very good as well. Now, and you notice the black line here, that's me because I need to measure on the distance from that hook to this hook. This hook here is higher than that hook. But you don't really see it a whole lot. And by the way, you can see the back of my uh, photo frame here. And back of here, we got the actual D hooks themselves. And yes, I could not use picture frame while uh, for because she is so heavy with the actual uh, glass itself. But I'm going to show you the actual mistakes I've done now. This is kind of tricky to hang back up, but I'm going to hang my back up again. But you may not see me trying to get these hooks lined back up properly on the actual wall itself. You can see there's this hook and that hook over there. Now we gently pick her up by holding the D-rings and latching her on one hook at a time. So he's pretty heavy. Not news for it. She's not a lightweight picture frame. Because the glass makes it very heavy. You see? And that's how I hung it, just like that. I do apologize if I'm not talking very loudly and I'm like muffled or something. I do really apologize of that as well. But she looks absolutely nice. And I chose this spot 
because this was the better spot to hang this uh, beautiful piece of artwork and also uh, jigsaw puzzle and photo frame on this side instead of on this wall, that wall, or that wall over there. Alright, if you're also brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. Bye guys and girls, or well, hopefully see you in the next vlog. And these are the hooks I was originally going to use, but these hooks I'm not going to use for that photo frame. These are the hooks I used. Alright, have a nice day. Thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in. Have a nice day.